a hey, shalom. First off, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Who has taught me this truth. Want to give a piece of blessings to the occupant across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and risk the life to do so. It's going to be a quick video, man. On basically, you can't um, hide your sins <clears throat> from the Lord, man. You know, and in and, and that day, your sins are, are going to be your sins are going to be um, be be searched out, man. You know, you're going to be ashamed. As a matter of fact, you know what I think it's in my notes. Because it says in that day, um, basically you're going to be ashamed of what you've done in this life because you have liberty, like in this life, to do the things of this world or do the things that you're supposed to be doing and it's truth right by the Most High Yahweh, right? Um, to receive some type of salvation in the times to come. Okay, let me see if I can find it. One second, it just popped in my head as soon as I turned on the video. Yeah, I think this is it. It's second edge. I think I had it. It's second edge of 16. Let me start at um, man, I'm gonna start at uh, 64. It says. So like it says, therefore hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. Okay. And when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. Okay, you're gonna be ashamed of what you've done in this time. Okay, and not only that, you're gonna be fearful of what you fearful of what's gonna happen to you because of the things that you've done in this time, right? If you heard the, the prophets of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Zimbabwe's on the videos or through social media or any outlet as far as it being on the on the internet, right? You understand that hey, you're a Hebrew Israelite, right? If you resonate it and you under, if you resonate and you agree with what we're saying, you understand, hey, you're an Israelite. Okay, you have a choice, right? You didn't come and you didn't hear the word for no reason. Okay? Scriptures does say it is better if you did not hear the word and and uh it is better if you didn't hear the word than to hear it and not uh, uh do what you're supposed to do basically roughly paraphrasing man by the word okay because you know better right those who don't know better still gonna get beat you know still gonna don't gonna get death man but you know how much more yours when you knew better it's like you know your parents man you know you got company over and, you know, your mom and dad might be mad at y'all fucking around in the house, breaking shit, you know, playing around in the house when you're not supposed to be, you know, your, your mom or dad might come home and, and be mad at, you know, be mad at the children, right? And a, and a, and a, and a, and a friend, right? But the friend is not going to, you know, receive as much punishment as the son, man, because the son know better, Okay. It says, um, therefore, hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works and he will put you all ashamed. And when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. What will you do? How will you hide your sins before the most high and his angels? It says, what will you do? How would you hide your sins before the most high and his angels, man? You can't because the scriptures say that most high's eyes are 10 times brighter. You know what? Let me get that. This is Sirach 23 and 19. It says, you know what? I'm going to start at 18. Uh, yeah, 18. I'll start at 18. It says, a man that breaketh the wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who, see, who seeth me? I'm capacity about with darkness. The walls cover me. That's a two-third nigga for you, man. You know, who see me? Who see me doing wrong? You know, oh, the most I ain't gonna remember what I've done in this world, man. You know, oh, he ain't gonna destroy me because of that. He ain't gonna destroy me because of this. Oh, he did that. He did that. Why well, can't do? You know, making all kind of excuses on why, why they should do something or not. You know, the scriptures do say that a wicked man finds an excuse to do evil, man. Okay, 
a man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, Who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The Most High will not remember my sins. Right? It says, What I, what, uh, why would I fear? The Most High would not, it's not gonna remember my sins. Are you crazy? Right? This is the next scripture. It says, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. Right? You're carnal. You only fear what you see. You fear the eyes of men, man. You know? And knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are ten times brighter than the sun. Right? You know not that the Most High eyes are everywhere, man. His eyes are everywhere. Angels are everywhere, man. Jotting everything down and reporting it back to the Most High, man. You know? Yahweh sees everything that's done in this place, man, and throughout the world because the world is influenced by America. This is just the belly of the shit. We in the belly of the shit, man. Okay? It says, um, such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten times ten times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. He knew all things er ever they were created. So yeah, because he's he's the beginning and the ending, man. He created every he created you. He know how much hairs is on our heads, man. You know, he knows our very thoughts, man. You know? That's why we have to rebuke some our thoughts sometimes, man. You know, throughout the day, you might have a wicked ass thought. You got to rebuke it, man. Because if you let the seed get planted in you, right? When a seed gets planted and you water the seed, what happens? It grows. So if you water a wicked seed, guess what happens? It's going to grow, right? And eventually going to be cast out, man. You know, it says he, he, uh, so like it, he knew all things er ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. And where he suspecteth not, he shall be taken. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband and bringeth in here by another. So that goes into you women, man. You know? And, and you know, I was watching a video earlier. Uh, the brothers from the L.A. camp was going in a little bit about the woman. Man, you, you women. You women are going to get it, man, because you are the pinnacle of wickedness. You know? Do, you know due to the to the so-called white man and not to get off subject with the woman but i do want to say this man you know the reason why these women do the things that they do and say the things that they say right is because they have they have protection okay they have protection and a lot of these niggas out here are suckers man right a lot of these niggas out here are suckers so they give attention to these women you know niggas don't have no backbone man you know they'll do it and cater to a bitch man you know so if you tell your, you know, sometimes you can tell your girl, you know, what to do and what not to do. And it'd be the right shit to, to do and, and the right shit not to do. And right. She feel like, oh, well, you know, um, well, he ain't over here. He ain't going to tell me that. Or she start comparing you to other niggas, man, that she's probably been with. You know, this place is this, this society is fucked up, man. It's fucked up. Right. But. People are showing you their true colors. Okay? People are showing you their fucking true colors, man. This place will it'll show you somebody's true fucking colors. Look at these women. This is, this is their true colors, man. That's how the fuck they feel. They're influenced by wickedness, man. You know? But in that time to come, right? When we receive power, it's a wrap for all that. You know? It's a wrap for all that. And Lord willing, you know, brothers' wives do right, right by them, you know? Lord willing, mine do right by me, you know? But at the end of the day, we still go through shit with these women, man. We still go through shit with these women. Might be, be big mouthing you, talking shit. Because she feel like, you know, it's uh, so many niggas on, in, her, in her DMs and, you know, in her messages and shit like that, you know? But it's going to be a time to come to where all that shit's going to be a wrap, man. Isaiah 4 and 1. Okay? It says, a uh, matter of fact, the whole second edge of 16, the whole, that whole chapter, 15 and 16. Jacob's trouble, right? Okay? Uh, it says, thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband and bringeth in an in, uh, in, in heir by another. For first, she had disobeyed the law of the Most High, and secondly, she had trespassed against her own husband. 
And thirdly, she has played the whore in adultery and brought children by another man. She shall be brought out into the congregation and inquisition shall be made of her children. Her children shall not take root and her branches shall bring forth no fruit. Right. So basically, you know, let me keep going. It says she shall leave her memory to be cursed and her reproach shall not be blotted out. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than to fear the Lord and that fear the Lord, Yahweh, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. Right. Especially if it is. Let me keep going. It is great glory to follow the Lord, Yahweh, and to be received of him is long life. Right. Because it says he's a shield and buckler to those who fear him. Those who uh, who walk uprightly, you know, those who fear him, he's a shield and buckler unto them, man. You know, so he is our protection, man. The Most High Yahweh is our protection. Lord willing, I'll be part of the elect of the one third, man. You know, but what do we have to do? We have to keep pushing this word, man. This is the only this is the only thing we got. Okay, it's the only thing we got. We got this and, and the sincere Akim. This is the only thing we have, man. At the end of the day, this is the only thing that's not going to fall on you. So put your time, your mind to the best of your ability into this truth, man. And it's easier said than done. Trust me, especially when your flesh gets in the way. But, you know, you got to rebuke the flesh. You got to cut the flesh off sometimes. And it's easy. That's easier said than done. Okay, let me keep going on this. It says, um, for behold, a burning. No, let me start at 67. It says, behold, the most high himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. Okay, so shall the Most High Yahweh lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Okay, but the point was in that I was getting was in 67, man. Okay, because it says, Behold, the Most High Himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your, right, leave off from your sins. So I just read. Right, that it is n nothing else better than to 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 do this truth and do right by the Most High how why how it shot to the best of your abilities, because it says they should know that this is the best thing that you could have done. Okay, in the time to come, this is the best thing you could have done, because if the righteous is scarcely going to be saved, how much more the wicked? How much more the nigga that say, oh uh, yeah, who sees me? The Most High don't see me. You know, oh, he ain't pay, all these people in the world, he paying attention to me, man. I'm just hit this blunt real quick. He ain't going to, he ain't going to, man, I repent. I could, rep, no. Most I said, don't tempt him, man. You know, don't tempt him, man. Wickedness is wickedness, regardless of what it is. Wickedness is wickedness, man. Now, some things we can't control, right? But that's something you could control. Tattoos, adultery, you know. Just doing niggerdom, that's some shit you can control. Okay? These are some of the things you can you can uh control, man. You know? But the scriptures do say while you yet had liberty, you know, you 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 hated the law. Okay. So guess what's gonna happen to you, you know? That purifying agent. What's that purifying agent? That purifying agent is that fire, man. Malachi 4 and 1, Zechariah 14, 12. You know, all these scriptures talking about the, and the destruction of this place, man, because the destruction is coming to this place. This is the whore that sat on many waters, man. You know, Babylon, a place of confusion, right? What was that tower about? What was the confusion? What was Babylon about? Confusion. This is the pinnacle of fucking confusion. Now, as a matter of fact, you don't even have a set race that dwells here. Yeah, the so-called white man rules uh, the earth. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, as Scripture says. And Job, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's Job 9 and 24, um, if I'm not mistaken, but, um, uh, um, but America has caused your what? Your so-called melting pots, man. Why? Because you have fucking so-called Negroes here, right? Uh, Edomites, man. You got Mexicans, so-called Mexicans. You got so-called Native Americans who dwell here, who still dwells here, right? You got Chinese, you got, you got Arabians, man. You got, you got fucking Japanese people. You got all kind of people, man. You know, this place is fucking confusion, man. You got Jap... I didn't... I never understood. You got Japanese motherfuckers in the army, you know? But what if you got to go to war with Japan? You're going to fight against your own people. So it's just like... This place is wild, man. 
you know, and one thing you always got to remember, the people make the place, the place don't make the people, man, okay, so nobody's really an American, <laughs> nobody's really a fucking American, man, and they'll try to get you confused with that, you know, this place just promotes confusion, man, so that's why it's, you got to do your best to get out of this place, man, and this place will be thrown down, thus said the Lord, man, by thermal nuclear fire, man, you know, so with that, man, this is a quick video. Lord Willing Brothers is edifying, man. I want to say Moth Lava Bull, Moth Lava Bull, Moth Lava Bull, Babo Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Yahweh Bashimi Aosha. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashimi Aosha for giving me the spirit and working with me to do this lesson. And Lord Willing Brothers is edified. I want to say Shalom. Shalom.